Scooby. Hey cuties, it's the one and only Sweet Pea here. And today we have, which has not had a lot of buzz, but the Impossible Slider from White Castle. We also have their new Panko Fish Sandwich Slider. We have some fries here, a deathly hard milkshake that's actually like ice cream in a cup. It's just soft serve. It's not really milkshake, but it's bomb. And then we have our um, Fanta slush here, and we have some Snapple water. Who the hell knew that Snapple made water, but we have some. And then we have this new little guy here, which is our fudge dipped cheesecake on a stick. So I'm going to try this stuff and then we're going to get into our story, which is a doozy. Um, if you guys follow my Uncle Sharla on The Breakfast Club, then you um, heard this story this morning. So we're just going to get into it. I'm going to get some of this ketchup that I have sitting on the side. And start eating. Yes, I have a paper plate here because I'm not going through all of that extraness. Kobe, if you touch my fries, you get beat up. Dog is greedy. And if you hear anything in the background, Kobe is supposed to be watching his PJ masks, which is like totally lit. But my little baby is into my food so he's gonna be nosy and he gonna stand there and be begging until i give him some but it is what it is now i've eaten these before these impossible sliders and they're pretty good um they have the same texture as the impossible whopper but obviously not the same um, flavor. It is on a griddle and not a grill. So it doesn't have like that barbecue flavor, if you will. But it's still good to me in my eyes. So let me get my straw together. By the time this video is over, this will be ready to drink. If you've ever had a milkshake from White Castle, Leave it in the comments below because you know what's up. You need a whole spoon and a crane to get into these, um, into their milkshake. Like, it's ridiculous. So this is my first time. I've had fish from there before, but this is my first time actually trying their new um, panko crusted slider. I'm just going to take the bottom part off. Some of the bread is sticking, but it is what it is. So that's supposed to be panko. It looks kind of hard. Um... It's still hot, so let's just take dig in. Mm. You could add a little pickle on this or something. This is real dry. The fish is good, but it's oily. Like y'all need to change y'all grease. Damn. Are you sure you want to try a piece of this? Kobe, you so greedy. Hmm. That's good. It's better with the ketchup, but I bought this. I'm gonna eat it. But good lord. This oil is serious. Mm. Did you like your food? Mm. Why? This um, fish sandwich is kind of oily, right? Yeah. It tastes like the oil is old. I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. I told you we could have like a burger king. I don't want to go back in time. Mommy didn't like her food, y'all. So, let's see if this stack up. The first time I had it, I'm from New Jersey. Bricks in the house. But, 
The first time I had this, you want french fries? It was in Patterson, New Jersey. So if you're from Patterson, time stamp this in the comments. And while y'all at it, make sure y'all give this video a like. Subscribe to this channel. So we can keep eating together, whether it be lunch or dinner. Or having these good old chats. I could have one of my five of that one. It's all right. Hmm. I'm gonna give you another piece of greeting. Oh, my thing. I'm gonna take this cheese off. Hmm. You dropped it. Alright, so I'm gonna try. Again, one of these um, impossible sliders. Whew. Had to get some water. Relax my palate real quick. So, this is what it looks like. Ain't shit on here either. Some little crusty um, onions. And then we got the little um, the patty. Why the fuck this look like somebody bit into this? Um, White Castle, y'all messing up. It's a little pickle on this one. They should have put a pickle in this fish sandwich, but it's a little pickle on this one. And we got some cheese or whatever that don't even look like real cheese, but we ain't even gonna go, with, go there right now. I'm making a mess. So let me break this in half because Greedy, McGreedy, is sitting next to me now. You touch my sandwich, I'm gonna beat your ass. Now, wait until I get you a piece. It smell, it smell kind of like a White Castle burger, but it smell, <coughs> oh, excuse me, it smells like um, vegetables too. I don't know, it got like a weird, uh, uh, like, uh, oh, excuse me, good lord. Uh, oh, okay, I think I'm done. But, um, yeah, how weird, like, um, I don't know what that smell is. If you guys tried this, um, let me know what you think this smell is. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. You smell it. You like how that smell? You try to bite my sandwich? What's wrong with him? Okay, let's, let's eat this. I like this, y'all. I like to eat these oily ass fish sandwich, fish water. I don't know. It kind of tastes like um. Mm. Kobe, you know what this tastes like? I'm making a mess. Yeah. You know, must say it's good to you. You keep eating it. But why are we eating these nasty sliders and eating these lukewarm french fries? Let's get into today's topic. Now, we all, as women, men, people that date, we've all been in situations where either we've been with somebody that didn't respect us or we didn't respect ourselves enough to you know handle certain things or whatever the case may be so this story like i said it was the donkey of the day for the um <clears throat> breakfast club and if you listen to the breakfast club then you know charlamagne always gives out donkey of the day every morning a little past eight 
depending on where your time zone is. But over here in the East Coast, it's um, a little past 8 o'clock. So, me and my sister in the car, minding our business. I should have got a spoon. Drive my nephew off to school. Boom. Everything is all good. Right? So, donkey of the day. You know how it go. The song, donkey, 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 donkey. Right? Now, you think he gonna talk about somebody. You can eat that bull fell. You think he gonna talk about somebody. Ooh, a pickle. Hold on. Mm. He's gonna, he gonna talk about somebody from um, Florida. Cause he always talking about people from Florida. He says the craziest people come from all of Florida and the Bronx, right? So, hmm. so today it's about a young lady. I'll insert her picture somewhere. And this is her, or her, wherever I decide to put it at. And her name is Tasia Russell. Now, again, we've all been in situations that we may not be proud of. Or, you know, we get tired of. Because sometimes people really be trying your patience, right? Especially some of y'all men. Y'all women is pretty too, but I'm just saying. I'm a woman, so I can only speak from my perspective. So, Miss Russell, Miss Tasia Russell, um, gets a text message from her boo thing, her man, her side piece. Well, she was his side piece. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. So she gets a request from her mans to come through with that kitty cat, right? So, obviously, this is a booty call. So, you know, Tasia gets ready, take her shower, put on the freshest bath and body work smell good she got. That She used the shower gel, she used the lotion, she used the spray, whole time right so she getting ready for her man because he want to see her right so miss tasia and this is taking place in um woodbury new jersey right so it's not newark it ain't irvington that's the phone y'all sorry um <clears throat> it ain't irvington nothing in essex county right <clears throat> oh, excuse me uh, I don't know why people call my house house phone because we don't answer the house phone. We just have a landline just to be having one, quite frankly. But um, there we go. So anyway, she get she get ready, you know. Make sure she looking good, smelling good, you know. Got her mind right because she ready for the day. So obviously it must be some good day because. Miss Tasia left her house in the wee hours in the morning. This is usually times when people get their kids up for school. And you getting ready for work, making breakfast, you getting a crack off her eye. She going to get her some. Okay? So, I forgot where they said she was from, actually. But, um, oh, I'm full already. Um, she drove to, um, her man's house. Now, they don't disclose his name or anything like that. Um, so we don't know who he is. We just know that he's a man from Woodbury, New Jersey. He called Miss Tasia Russell to come over and hang out with him on some late night creep shit. And, um, she obliged. So she gets there and let me see, let me look. I spy no guy. 
Like, what's going on? You call me, you got me up out my bed. I have on my Sunday's best nightgown, my Bath and Body Works best smell goods, <laughs> and you ain't nowhere to be found. No, 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 no. Not I, said the cat. This is what Miss Tasia is saying in her head, right? I'm a good warm in my final coat. That makes sense to you? I'm gonna do it. They gave this to me at the same time, Kobe. It's still nasty. I mean, if y'all wanna try it, I think it was like $2. Like a fish sandwich. Maybe it's y'all White Castle, they change, they grease more often, but. Mm -hmm. I stick to the regular slider. Give me a cheesy stack with some french fries and some clam sticks and we good. We out here. So anyway, she calls this man not once, not twice, not even five times. She called him eight times. He did not answer. And then... She proceeded, proceeded <laughs> to send him a series of text messages. One of which being, oh, so I see you want to die. Hmm. I don't know who the man is, but he did not get the memo to not mess with Miss Tasia. Okay? It was not the night. She was not feeling it. She came out her house, sent another text message. Oh, you made me waste my money to get out here. So obviously she had to go through a toll road, okay? And you ain't answering the phone? Are you telling me? I got ready, got out my bed, driving all this way to come to you. You don't answer? Okay. And you sent him another text message. I hope you die. Like, this chick is really crazy. So, Tasia, not taking no for an answer, proceeds to get out of her vehicle. Starts banging on the door. Mind you, this whole time she out doing all this, the complex where the man lives, they have CCTV. So people see, you know, they can, they're going to see what's going on. So, banging, 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 banging like the police on the door. He still don't answer. Okay. So, Miss Tasia got her mom out. You want with me? Okay. Okay. So, she left. Now, before I continue with this story, please, as any self-respecting woman, leave in the comments, if this was your situation, a man called you to come over and hang out with him. In the middle of the night. You knew, you know, what it was, what you was coming over there for. And um, you was down with that. But he don't answer the door when you call. Or um, when you knock on the door, when you texting him after you done made your way. You can't have this a shop of those. When you done made your way out to him what what would you do would you stay would you get mad i mean obviously you're gonna be mad right because you don't waste the gas time effort coming out there this is how the little cheesecake thing looks like it's supposed to stay frozen i'm gonna try this but um this is gonna be a short video y'all because i'm full <laughs> i cannot shovel in that much food um especially with my partner in crime right here y'all see him Pop up. Look. Look up. No? Okay. Y'all yeah, probably see him. Anyway, it's not an imaginary friend if you can't see him. I promise. But, you know, what would you do in that situation? Would you call eight times? And then if they don't answer, would you still get out your car and go bang on the door like a fool in the middle of the night? Or would you call once? Maybe twice. And then, like, you know, leave a text message and be like, you know, I was here, whatever, you ain't answered, so, you know, I'm out. 
and then you proceed to go home like what would you tell me in the comments what would you do in this situation so miss tasia getting back to the story she left did she go see another man you say did she go to her friend's house to you know say how much she hated this dude <laughs> did she go home is what you're wondering <laughs> tasia did none of the sort <laughs> chocolate I'm a mess I despise chocolate ma ma yeah. you want to try this cheesecake stick what? do you want to try a piece of this cheesecake stick right. damn I'm gonna drop the piece all right anyway she ain't go home she ain't go to her friend's house she ain't call up another man she ain't even go to the bar Right. Oh, good. Now that. Oh, my boobs in the way. Now that. I can say. Hmm. Anybody spending your money around? I don't know how much I pay for that, but it was good. And the chocolate make it taste better. And again, I hate chocolate. Let's see if this loosened up some. Uh, have you ever gotten a milkshake from um, White Castle? You know these things to stick to death. I'm going to have this for a couple of days, y'all. Don't think I'm going to sit here and drink all this. Or eat it, rather, because that ain't going down. Hmm. Kobe, I don't have a spoon. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. Playing with me. It's all this foam at the top. The hell. Hmm. Something to wash out in this damn cheesecake. Hmm. I like cheesecake, but I'm much more of a um, candy and chip person. Hmm. Hurry up. Yeah, I did that, Ann. Hmm. Take that shit up with your dog, with, with yourself. There you go. All right. Fall back. We got to finish telling them the story about Tasia. So, instead of her going home or finding her, you know, another midnight snack, she goes to the damn gas station. And what does she go to the gas station for? Not gas. <laughs> this heifer went and got some lighter fluid right matches and a lighter so in the eyes of the law that's an accelerant and that's intent to commit a crime now remember a few seconds ago when i said she sent him a text message and said oh so you want to die right I hope you die. Right? Two separate text messages. She goes back to his home and proceeds to spray his front door and mind you, only, not one of, but the only exit to this man's house with lighter fluid. Lights a match. house starting to go up in flames 
And as soon as the house starts to go up in flames, does she call 911? Does she try to call him back and say, ha ha, I got you, or wake up, bitch, something? No. That's when she got in her car and went home. This happened August 4th of this year, 2019. This man woke up at 4.30 in the morning, exactly when the fire took place, they don't say, but let's say probably like 4.20 or something like that, maybe 4.15 in that realm, but it was in the wee hours of the morning. So, um, she goes home. He finally um, emerges because he had to remove... I'm still going to eat this. It fell in my hand. Shut up. He um, removed the one of his window frames. What floor he lived on, they didn't say. But he removed the window frame, jumped out the window, and proceeded to run um, to the police station. Where he lived that was very close to the police station um, in his t-shirt. Who goes... To the police, who's covered in soot, his body and his hands are covered in first and third degree burns. He has smoke inhalation, and they're like, you know, they check his phone, they see what's going on. He says, I call, text my side chick to come over, or whatever, and I fell asleep. The man fell asleep. Now, although as disrespectful as that may be, right? Why in the hell you trying to kill this man? Why you set his house on fire, girl? It was that serious for some day. So anyway, they look at the text messages. She called him. They look at the CCT room. They see she went to the gas station. Bought all this stuff. So, they finally catch up with her and arrest her. So, right now she's pending charges of endangering arson, attempted murder, um. There's one other charge. I can't remember what it is. If you guys um, look this up, and you can find an article on NewJersey.com. That's NJ.com. Leave it in the um, comments below so I don't know. I can remember what the other charge is. But anyway, so she has four charges. And um, she's held on a man without belt. So she, right now she's in jail waiting um to be arraigned or you know her trial will start whatever is going on right now with this case um for her doing this so there's another young lady i don't remember her first name her last name is young i believe goes to the same gas station montauk gas or something like that which i'm gonna need y'all to start carrying y'all lighters, y'all matches, and y'all lighter fluid behind the damn counter and start carting people that want to buy it, okay? Because this is getting out of hand. Miss Young, Miss um, Tasia Russell is following after Miss Young because in April, she did the same thing to her man house. What the hell is going on, women? Kobe, what's wrong with these people? Do you know? I don't know. Do you know you want French fry? Because there's no way in hell that even if I was slighted by a man, that I'm going to lose my self-respect, my dignity, my integrity, and my freedom just to prove a point. The best point that any of these women could have proven was to just walk away and never speak to them again. Like, seriously, what is your deal? Because if you tried to kill him by burning him alive in the house, 
what would you have done to somebody else that did something way worse to you? Okay, he fell asleep. Whoop de whoop. Take your ass back home. Like, are you serious? You was that desperate, that lonely, that warped in the mind that you literally went and tried to murder this man because he did not sleep with you. Because you wasted you wasted your time. Like you had a choice of whether you wanted to get up out your bed at that time of night and go over to his house. You knew that you guys were in a relationship. You weren't his girlfriend or anything like that. You were a booty call. Period. So I don't understand what the point of all of this was. You could have easily said no or told him to come to you if he really wanted to see you or something like that, but you don't, you don't set nobody on fire. Then she tried to kill his dog. His dog was in the house, y'all. So after he left the police station, they went to his house. And, um, <clears throat> you know, fireman was called and everything like that. And they were able to rescue the dog. So thank God for that. Because that little puppy, well, I don't know if it was a puppy or not. But that dog ain't had nothing to do with nothing. And you just, I don't know, people are just crazy as hell. So y'all watch who y'all talk to. And this starts off my series called The Boyfriend Chronicles. If you want to hear more about The Boyfriend Chronicles, don't forget to like this video. Again, subscribe. We will be back twice a week, hopefully on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, posting for you guys. We'll have some more mukbangs or eating shows for you. And hopefully I'll be able to eat more. But it's kind of early and that shit was nasty and I don't want no more of it. If you want to try it, go to your local White Castle and hit them up and ask them for an Impossible Slider or a Panko Fish Slider. And that's up to you. Don't tell them that Sweet Pea sent you. Because <laughs> that was nasty. Mm. But definitely get you this little cheesecake on a stick thing. That was good. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.